What's up my people? Happy new week. How on a day with in the happen with in the sub. Welcome back to our channel. Okay, it's a new day, brand new day. Uh guys, you know what we do every Monday. Now, on Saturday we hit the streets again. And this time we met with um Jubril, Mr. Jubril, what do I call it? A bottled water seller. We helped him with fifty thousand naira. First, I want to thank the donors. I mean, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Without you guys, these things helping people with their businesses can't be possible. I mean, on the streets, right? Um, so I interviewed this man. Funny enough, this man is a Ghanaian. I didn't even know that he was a Ghanaian. And good thing is, this reminds me of a Ghanaian that reached out. You know, he, she was part of the donors, right? I remember her reaching out and saying, look, when it comes to humanity, we don't put boundaries in these things, you know, so I'm going to donate. I'm actually surprised because this is for Nigerians on the street. And look at it. Part of the beneficiaries is a Ghanaian today. You just never know. So um, those of you that are waiting for just the news, I'm sorry, this is part of Tim Crown, okay? And guys, currently we have 800,000 Naira in our account. I hope you guys are calculating. Yeah, 50,000, 50,000 Naira, 50,000 last week. 15, now we have 800,000. Uh, so next week, yeah, we have another lady. Um, yeah. So guys, let us watch this uh, video. Mr. Jibril, well done. What's your, what's your full name? My full name is Jibril Ibrahim. Jubri, Jubri what? Jubri Ibrahim. Where you, where you come from? I am come from Ghana. I had the hustle for you. You did hustle? Since when you don't date Nigeria, the hustle? She said, what I did for Nigeria, I had the hustle, man. You know, say, I, did, I don't say for four people because I say, Kai did this stuff. And I leave that one. I begin the hustle for this water. I had the hustle too much more. Okay. So you get, you get family members for Nigeria? I uh, get, get where I follow up on. I get one child drunk. You don't born or you don't marry? I don't. I don't born. You don't, you're picking the Nigeria. Or? Yes. Which side do they live? I they live from Idoroke. Yeah. You're picking they live with you? Yes. Um. Now, now female, Abi. Yeah, boy. Boy, you did school? Yeah, you did school. He, how old you're picking they? Level. Old. How much do they make daily if you carry this thing go out? This one now. Sometimes now, but if you market day now. I they see like 2,000, I they see one part. If I eat now, I did, uh, sometimes I know they see what I go save you again. Well, the market know they do the move like that. If you hold up there now, sometimes I will feel like one part. I will feel like a, a 2,000. Okay, if, if work no today, how much do they see? If work no day, sometimes and I want 1,000, I will see one part. I will see. The lady will follow me born with my wife. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So she's not there with you, but you're picking the leave with you? Yes. Okay, and out of that money, I think they feed your picking. Yes. So n right now, who they take care of your picking if you come off for house? Now, I mean, they, they, I put them for school, and they take care of the ground. But the school face, and I mean, they manage it, they pay. Okay, okay. Okay, no Allah. Well, we go help you with um, 50,000 uh, naira so that you go first start your business. Okay. And we go come back. After just come see what you don't do because you say you they do you want do, if you do puff 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 yes, Abby? As I did that one. Uh, if you do puff puff yeah. me the thing say you go also include um like small chops. Yeah. Maybe something like that. So where you want to take to this business? I'll, if I get the money now because uh, for I won't go on a side because that's a land day then I'll use Paco the inside the manager I go the fry the puff up there they said. Now what I don't already plan up for my I don't plan at that. Okay, which year you come to Nigeria say? I, I came here to go, man. This last time where I come here, now, uh, 20, uh, 2017, where I came. I know go even because the business is no good for me. Okay. So this is 50,000. Uh, so we are giving, we are going to help him with that. And we go also on the check on you to be sure say they use this money. Yes, yes. And you can also donate to help Mr. Jubril. Any amount is, is fine. Today's news. <laughs> I, I saw this on Saturday. Was it on Saturday? I was like, who is that blogger? They said, um, your favorite blogger, Don Gebele, celibate to mother of two. <laughs> A lot of people pointing um, fingers at uh, Linda Ikeji. Say, ah, Linda Ikeji is the one carrying a child. We don't know yet. You know, I, I was even 
surprised that this person refused to put out the person's name um, i also remember the the rumors um about um whiskey to baby mama as well and by the way we have um again peter will be in the news and all this news about uh, whiskey's baby mama the the manager right uh we had i uh, had the rumor somebody in fact sent me a direct message about you know whiskey baby mama being pregnant I, I think i reported that here too you know the day i got it but yeah it, she's still yet to confirm it same with this so we don't know the blogger this person is talking about guys let us move straight to the next one here we have papaya x so papaya x uh, caught a lady she says that this lady is the one giving just lover information you know she's been in, in, in the dirt or she, is it okay to is it fine to, to use that word she's been trending lately um for the wrong reasons um they said there was a, a video of footage that we saw and in that footage she was spotted with a married man and if this is gonna affect her reputation yeah she can come out and you know explain herself but she's yet to do that but that aside okay now she felt like just love her this against her you know and just love her want to drag her down and that's why maybe she's doing this now she says she caught this lady she said you can see here yeah, the girl just love her sent to snitch on papaya x so the the question is did she snitch on papaya x we don't know uh, but papaya x said that this lady paid her for advert and she's back to take um her product they sent her a product she refused to talk or advertise it and they gave her money for the promo right so she refused to talk about it so i think this person came over to her place to collect the product and maybe she grabbed a camera to video her to say look at the person i paid money or blah 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 might not have anything to do with gist lover although she showed us text messages let us watch this video Very stupid too. Don't let this go again. This is the first time they're making videos of me and my friends. Okay. okay. This is a chat with Gist Lover. This is this girl chat with Gist Lover. She was about to record. She was about to record myself and my friends. Then my sister snatched the phone from her. And the next thing I saw. Chat with Gist Lover. This is the chat. Can you see? Can you see? When you can make video, I go every post. You go even change your page. This is how the fucking set people up. Basically, this girl was about to record my friends and I. This is like the third or fourth time they're going to do this to me and my friends. The last time my friends went out, they were recording them saying, Oh, lo show this one, that one. That passed the way. I've never posted anything like that before. Right? Now, the funny thing is that the training video online I snatched somebody's boyfriend. Till now, everybody has been trending it, saying I snatched somebody's without any proof. The only video is the proof. Now, this is a chat between G Slover and a particular vendor that paid me for adverts. Now, this girl came over to my place tonight. Yesterday, she, she, she sent her 21k followers. Somebody made a comment, G Slover. G Slover advertised for Oin Bag Luxury. We followed her then. She doesn't snitch, go meet Papaya, make sure she do adverts for her because she knows there's traffic on her page. Ayele, the gist lover intentionally made a screenshot of this. Please, ah, made a screenshot of this comment, and she and gist lover sent it to this lady. Now take a look. Take a look at what they've been discussing. Now see what gist lover said. If I tell him, make she no post too. You see what you see what he's saying. Now, where you for make video? I go help you post. You go even trend your page. Fucking imagine, like kilo fair cheese. You want to destroy me so freaking bad like kid mo she fwe she mo mo pop se eri ni imagine you paid me so you paid me for advert to set me up you came over to my house to pick up your product you want to make my videos and start trending online again right this is how they do if i make video yeah, guys uh moving on to the next one here we have the video in the news and by the way monday's videos are quite long so you don't have to rush <laughs> yeah it can be that long some not all here we have Davido. Uh, Davido performed in uh, Boston recently, the Davido's concert. Uh, and Davido hid his, his jacket uh, behind a mailbox, you know, and did a video about it. Like, whoever finds it first can have it. Well, a white lady found the jacket. Let's watch this. Yo, Boston, 
Anybody in Boston, this is the jacket I wore in Boston yesterday. This is the airport we're about to leave for DC. It says 180 Hanscom Drive. 180 Hanscom Drive, Bedford, Massachusetts, 01730. I'm about to have this jacket somewhere. Whoever find it, come get it. And tag me. See, right by the mailbox. The mailbox by the airport. Show the airport. Here we have Pastor Toby. Now, this is a London based pastor, the owner of Spark Nation or the founder of Spark Nation. That's the name of the church. Now, the church has been closed down by the UK government over fraud allegations. Uh, they said that this, uh, this, they call it the misappropriation of funds. Let me put it that way alleged misappropriation of funds. And the money that we're talking about is 1.9 million pounds wow that's a lot so they said that pastor toby and his team don't have a better explanation uh, you know about the whereabouts of this money so they have to they have no option than to close the church but would you really blame the the uk government for doing that because i think they just need a better explanation on how this man spent the money or what's happening with with the money now before now, you know, people have been wondering, what does this man do for a living? I'm, this, is, this is out there, you know, the reporter out there, like, what's the, this man doing for a living? Even if you search Google about this man, you know, you see um, the searches there. You can see here, they say, what does Pastor, uh, what does Toby Adidoyega do for a living? Because this man wears expensive clothes, wears Gucci's, Nike's, expensive stuff, okay? Um, the, you can see another question here that the people usually ask is what type of church is Spark Nation? People just want to know what type of church is Spark Nation. Um, how did Pastor uh, that's Toby make his money? Where does Pastor Toby get money? Who is Pastor Toby's wife? These are the questions on social media, my people. You can see what type of church is Spark Nation? They said the Christian Evangelical Church was set up as a charity in two, 2012 looking to help vulnerable people and offenders. Allegation of financial exploitation by senior church personnel have always been denied by church leader Pastor Toby. Uh, you can see here, how did Pastor Toby make his money? And they said there are clarifications. Um, however, Mr. Adeboyega, in an interview with Sphere News, said that he started investing in cryptocurrency and a chain of African food businesses in 2016. He also noted that he is into property development where he buys old and dilapidated buildings, renovate them and sells them. So that's what he, he does for a living um guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section below i'm sure you've heard about it, about this and he reacted to that himself he said their lawyers are working on it again the uk government believe that there's lack of transparency in all of this but guys let's just watch this uh, video of uh, the pastor reacting to that so go ahead so let me address some of the things that you may need me to address not because of our perceived enemies we don't have enemies we just have people that are learning. They are seeing things that they've not seen before and they are learning. And that's welcome, that's appreciated. It's impossible to be perfect in account filing, <laughs> for God's sake. We will challenge decisions, but the church of God cannot be stopped. The church is a people, especially the nation family. It's a movement of thousands of people whose lives have changed over the years. And as such, I'm on my way to church this morning and it's going to be glorious as ever. We have given all documents that are necessary. We've operated by the highest standard of transparency for the past 17 years, and you cannot do extremely and perfectly right, especially when a system doesn't want you to. So we love the government, we love the people, and we will keep thriving. We're not going to change. We remain the nation family, impacting life, working so that the life of our young people can be better.
look guys i really don't know much about this this one oh weary girls what is going on with you guys a lady called them out recently this lady is trying to tell us that the reason why oh weary girls refuse to marry is because they enjoy being paid for sex like before you get down with them you have to pay them and that is why they refuse to marry so that's what this lady is trying to say but others are like no it's because of the bright price it is not that men don't want to marry them or their own men don't want to marry them it's because their bright price is just too expensive that's why their men are going out you know to marry um girls from anambra and enugu other states just because of the bright price guys what do you think about this I'll leave your thoughts in the comment section below let's watch oh what a girl so what a girl sweating up when i know they marry when i know they marry for this full entire over no over again no invitation of no over again where one marry over again sweating up all of you are so so a shower a shower a shower a shower nine full in ahead when i know they marry all of you are they one location where they for the do a shower when i know they marry Oh, where a girl, you know they marry. You need to have a lady. Who know my one? I want to name ego. Knock me, give me money. Knock me, give me money. If they manage to engage one, it go take eight years before they go marry. Oh, can I marry a girl? If our boy is somebody, they will go and ambra states, go they find wife, go a boy states, go they find. Oh, where a girl, you see her? You need to have a lady. You know they marry. Husband, no they hungry, you know. That's also what I want to name ego. I want to name ego. That's also. Give me, give me more. Nak, that's also a shower, shower, shower. Nine full now. You know they marry. They use marriage swear for now. Not they marry. Oh, well, I guess not. Okay, guys. Speaking about relationship, um, uh, marriages, engagement, and and all. <laughs> um, here we have a lady. This guy proposed to her, and she slumps. She fainted. <laughs> Some people said that no, she she didn't faint. She just doesn't want to disgrace the guy and that's why she fainted okay she fainted because she she felt like if she rejects the the proposal the guy would be will be heartbroken so that's why she fainted that's what some people are saying while others are like you know it happens you know some ladies have been through a lot in their previous relationship might not even be their previous relationship but experience generally in relationships and it's so unbelievable to to you know to see something like this and that's why it, it comes a, a, as a shock to them most times guys what is your thought watch this video and let me know let's go ahead my cousin asked his girlfriend to marry him and this happened Okay, guys i'm um, here we have turned to dk maybe turn to dk has found love again we, we don't know <clears throat> she says here don't let my failed love story stop you from believing in love let us read exactly what she says don't let my miserable failed love story or the field of others uh, love story deter you from believing you can't make it don't let others poor chooses determine your life or slash beliefs you know when a relationship doesn't work seriously sometimes the person complaining might just be the one at fault you just don't know you know um that we fail doesn't mean we are failures so we learn from each mistakes and we keep on the fire there are millions of beautiful love stories out there love is a beautiful thing our love is so sweet and it's truly a gift to one and other and love don't hurt uh, if it does that ends love don't give up on love okay don't give up on love turn to dk thanks for the advice by the way moving on speaking about giving up on love here we have a guy that helped the girlfriend with her, her birthday i mean gave her money to celebrate her birthday and the guy died before that day this lady so went ahead to celebrate the birthday yeah she actually went ahead to celebrate the birthday 
uh, somebody shared this on social media recently uh, says Abel you pay for your big birthday celebration uh, which was supposed to be uh, today and you died on Monday your stupid girlfriend go to the club uh, say she won't still do the birthday uh, today she no go no peace for the rest of her life on a more serious note like they're not married she just might not care about the guy you know so you wouldn't really blame her it's not like she was married to the guy or something but at the same time as a human being come on eh as a human being feel something feel something eh well guys let us watch or listen to this you know vegas i can't tell you now and because the person let me pay for that place the boy don't late and they say I'm not fit one because he and the manager for the place they're very 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 close. Instead of me to just cancel the bed, I just go to my car and go Vegas. I beg. I'm not nervous. It's one of the big news um of yesterday or two days ago. Uh, it was Bob Whiskey inviting um clerics over to his place to pray for him at the opening of his 400 million naira mansion or house yeah according to him the the place worth 400 million naira and you can see the the islamic uh, clerics around him you know praying uh, for him some people oh, are totally against this even though they're muslim they were like no this doesn't make sense at all is it because bubwiski is uh, a cross dresser or what i don't know but you know i i understand something about islamic religion is a very serious uh, religion and uh, guys if it were uh, pastors what would you if you're a christian what, what do you think do you think this is okay me i'm just a a blogger talking you know <laughs> uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below let's watch this video Here we have Peter Obi, NNPP and Labour Party merger. That's Quanquazo's um, party. <laughs> you know, they said they're, they said they're still working on it. That everybody should calm down. That they're still working on it. It seems like every everything on social media, it's just so hasty these days that people just want everything to happen. And the twinkle of an eye, like this, just doesn't happen that way. These things take time you know processes and all that i hope people will understand guys about um father umbaka <laughs> the members are protesting now because the diocese banned catholic members you know from coming to his ministry um I, and I, i'm thinking guys why why can't he break out like start his own church like you know isn't that possible i'm just just thinking out loud but this is because of what he said about peter will be being stingy i don't think it's just that stingy word you know i think it's because of all the things you know because videos started popping up you know about his encounter with peter will be and what transpired between both of them and how he handled it so they felt like it's um you know a stain you know on their name i'm talking about the, the catholic and they felt like the best way to do this is to just ban catholics from coming to this man's church yeah before now they've always had issues with uh, mbaka and his preachings you know or doctrines in catholic church it's always been in trouble anyways um guys moving on to the next one here uh we got a report yesterday that uh, peter will be picks at uh, doing your cookie as a vice presidential candidate uh doing your cookie um you remember the man that the son is gay and he disowned his son i i, I think he not like he publicly came out to say you know i disown you or something but he just wasn't or isn't happy about you know the son being gay because the son publicly said it that my father never supported this and he himself said it 
um guys um this video of peter will be addressing the stingy part you know i mean of course it would be nice to hear from peter will be himself let's watch nice man peter will be charitable he's a somebody who gives yeah you... they say you're stingy that's another one they've been saying no 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 because i'm bringing everything to the fore so you address all this issue they say you're stingy you know there's a talk about uh, you know they give shishi and did, did, did you read what uh, bianca wrote yes go and read it it's a true story i've given away more money than all these who give away money what i don't do is that uh, I have allergy for money being wrongly spent, mm -hmm. public or private. Mm -hmm. I don't spend money carelessly. I spend it for what it is used. And people can see it. it, it be, and it has nothing to do with anybody. It has to do with my own, even my family. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows. If you call my wife today, we will tell you, Peter will not buy this. Peter will not do this. Peter will not. I also saw footages of it. Peter will be welcomed by, by this huge crowd. <laughs> And I think I saw a video of Ashwa Jivola Ahmed Stinumbu as well uh, when he arrived in Lagos. And I also heard that his convoy was attacked. But apart from that, he also, when he arrived in Lagos, um, a lot of people came to welcome him and all of that. And you know, it's crazy, like the spotlight right now is between Ashiwa Jubola Metinumbu and Peter Obi. Next one here, we have Peruzi. Peruzi uh, replies a man that you know, wants him to pick a presidential candidate. The Peruzi said, get your PVC, vote whoever the F you want. And the, someone says, vote whoever the F you want, you want is what brought us in this mess we are today. Uh, please be specific. Who are you voting and want your fans to vote for? And he said, no, forcing candidates on people started the mess. As for my fans they should vote whoever the f they want emphasis on whoever and i think people should understand this moving on here we have a, a doctor a nigerian doctor uh they said the nigerian doctor replaces consultation fee with pvcs in his hospital that makes sense you know you can encourage them to get your pvcs i think for me i think pvc is more important because that shows that you are ready to vote now, I don't care who you vote for, but get your PVCs. It shows that you will vote at least. You will be part of the decision makers. So, who wants to here yeah, have your PVC? Who well, wants please raise up your PVC? Raise up your PVC. Come and get it. I want to be sure you say the PVC is not ATM card, and I want to be sure it's not expired. It's current. It's current. It's current. Who again have your PVC here? Please, if you have your PVC, once you come here, don't pay your consultation fee. And if you are paying your consultation fee already, if you have paid it already, take, take it back. Take it back. We must have our PVC. Ikiti decides, and by the way, I think this man finally emerged the winner, Biodun Oyebanji of APC, with 187,000 votes, uh, defeating um, Shegun and uh, BC Kolawoli of uh, PDP. Congratulations. A total vote of um, 360,000, and uh, the rejected vote is 8,000 vote over eight thousand vote some of the contestants uh, said that they will fight in court they reject the result um yeah so let, let's see how this goes but you know the main 
reason why I'm talking about this is because some people have been paid to vote. And it's funny, this lady, you know, these ladies, you know, sharing off the amount they receive, 5,000 Naira they receive, I think that's the amount, to um, vote for a chosen candidate. The candidate, the, the person who um, give them the money want them to vote for. So I think they voted for the person. I would like to know the person now, now that we finally know who won the Kitty State um, election. And again, EFCC, I don't know if these guys are EFCC or EFCC or police, but the guys actually um, arrested some who were taking bribes to vote for a candidate, a particular candidate. Yes, and you can even see here voters are queuing, uh, they, they flee the scene after security operatives arrives too. So it's just crazy what is going on or what happened in Ikiti uh, State. <laughs> Why are you lining up? What is that in this world, huh? <laughs> election in Nigeria it's something else okay guys uh, we're gonna put a break on it this video is gonna be long <laughs> here we have um, photos um, of um, this guy's white wedding Blossom Chukujiku's white wedding I want to say congratulations to Blossom Chukujiku again I didn't even know that the wife is a pastor uh, this wedding was done um, at uh, the Christ Church Christ Embassy Church on June 17th. Uh, once again, congratulations. Um, speaking about wedding here, uh, video, this is a video from uh, the traditional wedding of uh, comedian Funny Bone. Yeah, the comedian, he tied, he tied the knot uh, recently. Uh, this, our traditional wedding should be major, you know. <laughs> That is where we're going to hold it. Thank you so much for watching. And today's question. It's not a must. You don't have to answer this question. <laughs> because I know a lot of people won't answer this question. If all your exes uh, give you one million naira each, how much will you have? <laughs> Guys, I'll leave your answers in the comment section. But like I said, it's, you don't have to force it. Until we see you next time, peace.